I got this dramatic black smoky eye look for you all. We are having a birthday due for my sister Shanice. It's her 21st birthday party and we're having a girls get together. So it's going to be really fun. So I thought I'd film a get ready with me video and I went full on glam with this look. So if you guys want to know how I got this whole look, then don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will show you guys how in this tutorial. Okay, bye. Hi guys, so I'm starting off with my eyes first and I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Lane Low and I'm using a brush to apply that all over my lid to cancel out all the veins, all the redness and help my eyeshadow stay in place all day long. To set that base in place, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and taking this yellow powder and packing that on top. Then taking this Tartlet Palette, I'm picking up this light brown shade and using that as my first transition colour. Then taking this darker brown shade from the same palette, I'm just going to deepen up the crease and I'm using a really big fluffy brush to kind of diffuse the colour in. And this palette is really really pigmented and it is the first time I'm using it and I really really like it. Next I'm taking my Motis Blackout Eyeshadow and I'm going to pack that on to my whole eyelid and this is very pigmented and it's very black and I absolutely love this eyeshadow. What I'm going to do is slightly go above my crease um, because I want the transition shade and the black to really blend well together. And now I'm just doing the other eye. Then taking a separate clean blending brush, I'm going to diffuse the transition shade and the black shade together and make it look nice and smoky and very hazy looking because I really honestly do not like harsh lines when I'm doing a smoky look. And then I'm just going in with a bigger blending brush and really blending out those harsh lines. And now I'm just repeating the steps on the other eye. Taking my Schwing um, eyeliner, I'm just going to draw a fairly medium sized wing and just wing it out. And this is very matte, this is why I love this eyeliner. But I still prefer my Rimmel Glam Ice Professional Liquid Liner. I don't know why, I just can't move from it. Then taking a clean wipe, I'm just wiping away any eyeshadow fallout. Then taking my Marc Jacobs mascara, I'm going to apply generous, generous amounts of this onto my top lashes and this mascara is really really good for your top lashes, however for your bottom lashes not that much. Now we're going to move on to the base. I'm using my Lancome 24 hour foundation in the shade 03 and using my damp beauty blender to work that into my skin. This is a very beautiful finish uh, foundation. It's full coverage and it does last all day long and it gives me this really nice dewy satin finish to um, the face. So yeah, I didn't even make sense there but it doesn't matter, it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm always, I don't know why I remember to do voice notes at 5.30, maybe because they just come out good maybe I don't know <laughs> but yeah then taking my Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer I'm gonna apply that under my under eyes to bring those um, areas forward and don't ask why I'm doing this but I have a lot of fun using this applicator for some reason so yeah I'm drawing these weird sort of triangular shapes under my eyes to highlight and brighten and I'm also taking it down the bridge of my nose and also onto my chin. Then taking my trusty beauty blender, I'm going to blend that all in. Do you see how effortlessly the beauty blender just blends everything in? That's why I absolutely love it so, so much. and my signature dance move whenever I'm doing the chin. Next, taking the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette again. I'm taking that same yellow powder I used at the beginning and just setting my under eyes. 
I gotta say guys, I absolutely love this um, shade light palette. Then taking the same palette again, I'm picking up the darker shade and I'm just gonna sculpt out my cheeks and really chisel out my face. And I also went down the bridge of my nose slightly. Then taking this Milani blush in warm petals, I'm packing that on to the apples of my cheeks. This blush eye is so beautiful. I absolutely love this shade. It's got like hints of glitter in there. Um, I absolutely love it. Then taking this Kiko 208 um, highlighter, I'm gonna pack that on. <laughs> and yeah, literally this highlighter is just so beautiful. If you guys have not got this yet, you need to get it. I mean look at that you're gonna see it's just so it's so pigmented and I'm also applying some down the center of my nose finishing off the eyes I'm taking the first transition color that I used at the beginning on my crease and just running that across my lash line then I also added some more of that Maltese blackout eyeshadow on the outer corners to really make my look really make my look just really smoke out my eyes you know Then taking my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, I'm applying that on my bottom lashes because I absolutely love the, the brush. Then taking my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Eye Pencil, I'm just using that on my waterline to really open up my eyes and make them look bigger and brighter. Then taking my OPV Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sassy Girl, which is this beautiful brown shade. I've been obsessing over this one because the brown is just perfect. I'm applying that first on my lips. Then I'm going to go in with the Galactic Bashful Liquid Lipstick and apply that on top to tone it down. And this lip combo is just, oh, it's just so nice. And now time to sort out this hair. So I went in with my Paco Rabanne Olympia perfume which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just spritzing that all over my body really. Uh, I wore quite a lot but you know this perfume is so gorgeous. You guys need to go out and smell it please. And that is a completed look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on my channel next time. Bye!